wander open roads with us to Cherry Hill Park in College Park, Maryland. Hi, this is Miko and Robin and we are Wander, Wander Open, Open Roads. Roads. So we're headed to Cherry Hill Park and we are actually on the Capitol Beltway I-495 and it's not always real fun driving an RV in uh, traffic like that but uh, you know a necessary evil. Yeah, I mean it wasn't too bad. Yeah, well, it, was, it was a bad middle of the day so not too bad. But yeah, Cherry Hill Park is a really cool RV park, probably one of the better ones that we've been to. And so we wanted to do a review on it. And we gave Cherry Hill four stars. It lost a uh, half a star for the cost because it was a little expensive and the Verizon cell service was not that good. So Cherry Hill Park is the closest RV park to Washington, D.C. It is 16 miles, about 25 to 30 minute drive from the National Mall. Uh, you're only about three miles from the University of Maryland um, and about uh, 28 miles or about a 35 minute drive from Baltimore. So it's very convenient to all of the uh, different uh, historical sites and monuments and museums and you know all, all of the cool stuff to, uh, to do when you're in DC. And DC is definitely a place that everybody should go and visit and uh, this is a great place to do it from. Cherry Hill Park was a really nice campground. Yeah, definitely. Had full hookups. Yeah, yeah. Free Wi-Fi. Yes, actually good Wi-Fi that you could stream with. So very happy about that. Yes. Plus they had cable. So, yes. Yeah. Bonus. 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 <laughs> and there were so many amenities. This was really a nice, well-kept park. Yes, very, very well kept, very well managed. Um, Everything looks, I mean, pretty new. I mean, you know, things were really, really kept up well. So very happy with that. You know, one thing that I liked about this park is that they actually had trash receptacles that were convenient and available to the campsite, which was nice. And they had trash, but they also had recycling bins too. So you didn't have to like drive to the front of the of the park in order to dump your trash. So uh, I kind of like that. There were two available pools. Um, one was actually kind of like a uh, kitty splash park area, which was actually really nice. Yeah, definitely. Um, there is also a dog park, so actually uh, several dog parks around the park, a fishing pond, an 18 hole mini golf they had a really nice store yeah yeah they did you could get uh, RV related items plus souvenirs plus food so yeah really really good store plus they had a cafe on site uh, that actually you know had a pretty decent menu so the really nice thing about this park is even if you don't have your RV or if you fly to DC and didn't bring it with you they have places where you can stay yeah, they had log cabins, glamping pods. Yeah, definitely. Which I had never <laughs> seen before. Yurts, cottages. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, hey, bring your RV or don't bring your RV. You can still have a really great time there, which is really cool. Now, we've already mentioned a whole host of amenities that the park has to offer. But here's some more. So they also have exercise room, walking trails, game room, basketball courts, ping pong, and cornhole areas for you to play. Yeah, and they also had actually an, an outside exercise area, you know, where you could do like body weight exercises. So that was, that was really neat. Yeah, so plenty of opportunities to stay in shape. Plus the park itself is huge, so if you just walk around it, You'll get plenty of exercise doing that too. That's right. So our visit was was during COVID, so you know there there were some of the amenities and things that were not available and you know that were a little different. But uh, you know still this this park has plenty to offer. One thing that that was really cool was that they actually have a bus depot on site 
uh, to help you get to the metro, you know, to get down to uh, downtown Washington, D.C. Right, so you don't actually have to have a toad or take your toad. You can ride the bus from the bus depot and do your travels that way. And they also have tour buses that, uh, you know, to of D.C. that leave from that same depot. So whether it's the metro bus or whether it's a tour bus that you book, ahead of time you can you can get to both of those from the from the depot on site which is really nice right and nice and convenient again to avoid that dc traffic yeah definitely okay so now to these glamping pods these were really cool this is the first time i'd seen anything like this yeah i mean i'm all about rv camping but i may actually consider uh <laughs> taking up residence in one of these uh, glamping pods. Yeah, really cool concept. We kind of peeked in one of the windows and it looked really cozy in there. Yeah, just a really, really cool idea. Really, really innovative. Yeah. So anyway, hey, come check out Cherry Hill Park. It was really awesome and we would definitely recommend it. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Okay, guys, so this is our first time camping in Maryland, so we're going to commemorate that with a pin. Let's see, just here above DC, I think we'll stick that right there. Be sure to check out our selection of travel apparel at shopredsquare.com and our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description. Thank you.